Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayan. And if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can be updated by my latest and my current videos. Welcome, 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 everyone. If you hit that play button, you are wondering why your person is distancing themselves away from you that's the only reason why you touched it that's the only reason why you clicked on it is because you are finding yourself in a situation where the one you love your boo is distancing themselves away from you and you don't know why well guess what if you've been wondering you are about to find the answer well the first card Honestly, I shouldn't even turn this over. It was already turned right up. Your first, your person is wanting to feel independence outside of you. With the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is about communication. You may be dealing with someone who is hyper independent. Which is making it even more of a worse, a worse case scenario for you. One second, y'all. First and foremost, I needed some light. I needed some more light. It was just not light enough in here for me. Um, second of all, I have a caveat. I am in no way, shape, or form um, holding any endorsements with this company, nor am I a sponsor or someone who gets sales commission, quote unquote, for promoting this brand. But I want to tell you how I my angels yes and i did say my angels allowed me to stumble across this it's called chakra and it is a crystal that is shaped in the form of a wand because it is literally a healing wand for the vagina okay i gotta be very careful of how i come across with this but this is a letter that i got from them and it says a letter from the creator of chakras thank you i love you i love you for starting a practice with chakras i love you for being open to what we are doing i love you for believing that your body is sacred and so your items should be as well i love you for taking care of yourself I love you because you have desires. I love you because you are brave to act on those desires. I love you because you understand that you are perfect, that you are a work in progress, that you have infinite depth and that love how you do one thing is how you do many things. I love you because I know from you starting a practice with chakras, you are open to love and able to receive it with graciousness. I love you because I know you love yourself. And because I know you love yourself, take care of yourself and show up for yourself, I want to love you. I love you because I believe that when we love something, it grows, it evolves, it creates. I believe that when you love yourself, you are able to give yourself and we need you. I love you because I want things to mean something and you're proving to me that they do. I love you. Thank you, Vanessa. I can't get her last name. I can't make it out. Who, baby. Thank you, Vanessa. I'm going to tell you guys, um, I was drawn to this particular one. They have many, okay? This one right here from the back drew me. It just kind of said, come here, tie-in. You need this, TT. So, um, this crystal chose me way before I chose it. It was actually born for me. It was created for me, okay? It says, chakras are a gift that initiates you on a path of self-discovery through pleasure. By accepting this gift, you signal that you are ready to open to self-love, to learn yourself more deeply and to honor your evolving desires. 
Some believe that the crystal was destined for you long before it reached your hands. I just said that, didn't I? Even as it was being harvested from the earth and carved into the shape you now see, it was readying itself for you. Now that it has arrived, give gratitude to yourself for taking this brave step and infuse your chakra with the intention that will guide your practice. So this was handcrafted 100% natural crystal. Chakras are selected based on their incomparable beauty and the higher standards of body uh, safety. They are easy to clean, warm quickly to your body temperature and with proper care, they will last a lifetime. Combining sensual pleasure with energetic awareness, chakras are more than your favorite sex toy. They are devoted partners in every sacred act of self-love. Now, let me give you the backstory of why I chose the rabbit jade. I think that's what it's called. The rabbit jade curve is what it's called. Now, before you get your pants all up in the uproar, this wand cost me $200, $190. Okay. Yes, I paid it. I am not into synthetic uh, toys anymore. I used to use them and I had a bad Kundalini experience. And I'll never use one again. It was the rose. The, the most popular one. Now, uh, this one right here. Let me go into it. It is beautiful. Look at that. It's white jade. If you don't know nothing about white jade. White jade is used to draw prosperity. Now, the reason why I chose the right jade rabbit is because this helps with when you're alone and you're celibate and you have trauma from a previous relationship that you need to end. Like you're craving to be with this person, you want to be with this person, but you just know that things are not going to work out because they may be too toxic or they may not just be the one. Um... Can you excuse yourself? Definitely don't want him in here while I got this in my hand. Um, so anyway, this is for happy endings. This will help to pull the trauma out of your yoni. Okay? Your yoni is your temple. It is your sacred womb. That's what yoni stands for. Sacred womb. And this is for sacred womb healing everybody laughs at me because i have an accent i say things differently you guys know what i'm talking about anyway if you're interested i will drop the link to their website like i said again i don't get any commission or anything from telling you about this divine feminines our whole journey, no matter what our soul contract is with our person, is about healing and self-love. Why not have sacred tools in your arsenal that's going to help you to achieve said goal? So that's why it was in my heart to share with you. Um, they have amethyst. They have all kind of wands. Adventuring. It just depends on what calls out to you. Like I said again, that one calls out to me because I didn't have a happy ending um, with my twin flame. It wasn't. It wasn't happy. I was very mad and I was very bitter. And um, a part of that still lingers on with me. I'm still jaded because. You know, people fight for what they want. And I didn't feel wanted. I felt like I was indisposable. Parts of me need to heal from that. So I can graciously trans transition into my new relationship. Because, you know, old things will keep coming up. Okay, hold on. Can you do me a favor? 
rinse your plates and your utensils out and put them in a the dishwasher for mommy, please. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm sorry. But I got two apple cider vinegar gummies in my mouth. Girl got goals. I want to get up, rid of my stomach. I know that's the best thing for it. So anyway, happy sacred wound healing for those who want to take part of that. You got ten of cups. This um, connection between the two of you is very magnetic, very healing to this person and it triggers your person they want to marry you they know that you're the end all the be all right but instead of facing you they choose to run you got the four of pentacles okay this person is very clingy they may not act like they are but they are very clingy to you they're never gonna let you go <laughs> so You think this person will act right, but they're doing the opposite of the way they they are feeling about you, viewer. You got Knight of Swords. Ooh, drama king or drama queen. Look at that. This is also someone that I am picking up that can be like a flighty lover. You know what I'm saying? Someone who's in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay. One minute they're hot, one minute they're cold. That's who you're dealing with. But yeah, they're drama full. <laughs> full of drama. Every time you associate with this person, it's always some drama. And it's not coming from you, it's coming from them. Like. Hmm. If you if you don't think that they're coming, they are. You're wrong. They're coming. You got the chariot. That's about movement. This person can either be moving towards you or either moving away from you. Please, let's clarify. Um, I'm going to say they're coming towards you because in this deck, the chariot means progress. It's not progress if they're moving away from you. We're still going to clarify. King of Cups. So this person is coming back around to support you. They may feel that you've supported them and it's time for them to reciprocate. Amen. Reciprocity, even exchange, give and take, baby. And you guys are like, come to mama. Come to mama. Come to love is what I'm hearing you guys say. Mm -hmm. Come to love. Come to mama. Come to daddy. You guys are waiting. You got nine of cups. They feel fulfilled with you. Like, they don't have to search anymore. So the real reason why they're... they're distancing themselves from you is because they don't want you to know how they feel they don't want to feel vulnerable they've had a love a lot of lovers come in to hurt them and not be real they didn't keep it real with them so now they got a real one they don't know how to take it they think you fake just like everybody else because all the other ones they said they were real too okay i can't make this shit up what, is, what are they feeling, spirit? Spirit, what are they feeling? Four of cups. They looking within. Introspection, retrospection. They're going inside. Mm -hmm. They're being forced to do this. It's not on their own recontinence. I heard from spirit. Don't think that they doing it on their own. They ain't. Divine intervention got in the way with the judgment. Okay. Today is their judgment day. 
It's about action. It's about taking the right actions. They're being forced to take action towards you. Told you. They're like coming out of their shell. You see this person coming out of their shell? Look at that. You're about to hear something from this person. Mm-hmm. Mm, you're about to get your wish fulfillment dream come true. Yes, baby. They're being inspired by someone to come to you. Maybe someone that's like a mentor, someone that's older than them, an older male or female. Please take what resonates. But whatever the case is, they are connected. They are connected to the most high. This person is being used to carry out God's orchestration between the two of you. It's like an administration, a spiritual administration. They're a part of your spiritual team. Like an earth angel to this, to your lover, to your person. All right, we got Queen of Cups. This is your energy viewer. All right, you may start to have a little bit of empathy for this person, or you may need to have some empathy towards your person when they come back to you. Because I don't feel like you guys, I don't think they left on good terms. Kind of like me and my twin. I was in love, feeling stuck and stupid, and he was like ready to explore the world and didn't give a fuck how I felt. Because y'all know the saying, if they wanted to, they would have, right? Believe in yourself. Have empathy for yourself. Okay, I'm hearing. Ooh, you guys are at the crossroads. Meet me at the crossroads so you won't be lonely. Crossroads and reverse. You coming out of that, that confusion, not knowing which way to go, right or left? Uh-huh. All right, so Spirit is saying that now you're moving with clarity. All right, now your person is moving with clarity. They were confused as heck. That's what was keeping them stuck and making them distance themselves away from you because the heart and the mind was not lining up. Page of Swords. All right, this is about education and apprenticeship, learning something. I think your person is learning their lesson because their heart can't take it no more. Reminds me of that song by Ashanti. Cause my days are cold without you And I'm hurting while I'm with you Come on now Look that song up Listen to the lyrics y'all And my heart can take no more I just keep running back to you Say my days are cold without you And I'm hurting while I'm with you Alright so um, Your person thought that the grass was greener on the other side With the delusions with the seven of cups this could be a Pisces. Please take what resonates. But yeah, if it's not a Pisces sign, it's definitely in the chart somewhere because, honey, they slept on you. And now they want to come back because now they awake. Mm -hmm. You got the devil in reverse. So you could be dealing with someone who was heavily inundated in alcoholism. And they gave it up. This is the devil in reverse because they no longer are in bondage. They no longer feel stuck. They could have been in a karmic job. Okay, it doesn't even have to be a karmic person. But I feel like the location where they are and the job, all of that is karmic related. And they had to fulfill that contract. Yeah, maybe it was about money. They thought they could make more money there. Where they moved to. I feel like this person moved away from you or this person lives long distance from you. Please take what resonates. Remember, this is a general reading. And a general reading means just that. It is not specific. It doesn't mean anything specific for you or your person. It is a reading that you are supposed to take 
away from it what resonates to help you as guidance or as a tool, not as the end all, the be all, or the Bible, okay, over your life. Back to the reading. You got the high priestess. You're being asked to follow your intuition. Listen, stop writing off your small little voice as that's not from God or that's not me talking to me. That's, um, I'm just hearing things. No, it is your intuition. So listen, open up your third eye. Stop using that calcifying toothpaste. Take you some apple cider vinegar to open up your third eye. Like I just did, even if you got to chew it. Five of Wands, but I don't recommend it for anyone that has diabetes because of the sugar. Five of Wands, your person is sitting in chaos. They have this inward battle. They may try to fight you all the time. One up you, one up men shit. Okay? Like, let me beat her to the punch or beat him to the punch. So let me go ahead and antagonize and sabotage this union before this person can have an opportunity to do so. So I'm going to be him or her to the, the punch is what I'm hearing. And they don't realize all they're doing is messing their own shit up. Because guess what? You are the best thing that they ever had. The best thing since the spice of life, honey. So they just messing their own situation up with you. All right? Hmm. So with the page of wands, it's about doing something that you're passionate about. Um, your person may come up with an invention, may get it patent, and make a lot of money. Or this could be you too, viewer. You may have an ideal that you're sitting on, and you may not have done anything with it because you're allowing for things to get in the way. Honey, get out of your own way. Some of you have worked really, really hard to get to this point with the Seven of Pentacles. This is hard work. This is vision. This is the fruits of your labor finally coming into fruition. Yeah, let them do what they're doing. They're going to come back to you anyway. In the meantime, in between time, get yourself together. Get your life together. You got some money waiting on you. And I mean big, big money, like legacy. You got the strength card because here lately... You have been feeling very weak. It's time to be very bold and courageous. That's the bravery with the strength card. That's what it does for us. It, it puts us in our power. It makes us either a lion or a lioness. Okay. War. Let me see your war. I want to see lions in the comments, please. Let me see. Let me see. This just is an indication that you, as you participate, you are making it easier for me. So the next time I do a reading, I can collectively feel your energy. And maybe a portion of the reading may be specific for you. Okay? All right. So let me see them lions drop. Okay, so your person may have been connected to someone, but they are alone right now. They are with nobody. They are in solitude by themselves, hearing those divine messages drop down from the crown chakra. Okay. Stability. You're looking for stability, the Queen of Pentacles. And you're probably looking for stability and reciprocity because I see two pentacles that are kind of like unbalanced or excuse me, imbalanced. Thank you, spirit. Um, with the queen of pentacles. You see that? They're imbalanced. They're not balanced. So that means you may have everything that you may have always wanted, but you don't have your loving companion. You don't have your divine true love. Okay? You don't have to be a, a female. You can be a male too. And you may have everything that you want, but the one you want. And mine with Beyonce and Drake, she's like, what's the point of having everything you, all that she want is him. What's the point of having everything and you don't have the one you love? You don't have the one you love to share it with. All right, we got eight of swords. So a lot of you are feeling trapped. Feeling stuck, your person can be feeling stuck. Your person can have a lot of anxiousness and a lot of anxiety. All right, wearing a lot, a 
about the future. Don't worry about the future. The future ain't even here yet. Today is already tomorrow. I mean, seriously. Just live your life. Like Rihanna said. Rihanna and T.I. You got transformation. So, this is a tired moment for both of you. Both of you are being shaken to be awakened. Especially your person. Your person is going through a serious tire moment. That's another reason why they haven't reached out. Like, what the hell are they going to reach out to you for when they don't even know what to do themselves in this um, spiritual realm? Or this earthly realm? Eight of Wands. They coming back. Like Lightning Jack. Look at that. Speed. So, this communication is about to turn around for you. Even though they've distanced themselves, they coming back around because they have a lot that they got to say. They got a lot that they got to get out of their mind. They got a lot that they got to get off of their chest. Okay. It is divine intervention. It's going to happen. Knight of Cups. Look at that. You're going to get the romance that you've been seeking. The romance that you always have been wanting. Yes, baby. So, viewer, it is here. The time is now. In the meantime, please do your healing. If you are a woman and you are a divine feminine, I highly recommend if you're going to use any sex tools, you might as well make it a high vibrational experience, okay? Calling your angels, calling your spiritual team, get you some high frequency music or the best music that you love. Anita Baker giving you the best that I got. That's one. Um... Or, you know, whatever just calls out to your spirit and soul. All right, you guys. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave a love donation if you feel inclined to. Or you can purchase something from my wish list on Amazon. And it will appear on the channel. I now wrap you on my love. And I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.